hi everyone I'm wrapping up the seventh week of Bell's palsy um, I, I feel like I've seen so far this week a, a little bit more motion with my uh, raising my eyebrows I can't say I've noticed um, a lot in terms of blinking I've been still putting in a lot of the eye drops um, but I, I'm getting a little frustrated because I still don't see a lot of um, a lot of movement with my face, or at least I'm sorry, with my smiling. So here's me smiling, showing my teeth, crunching my nose, Is that smiling, raising my eyebrows, trying to my eyes um, still a little tricky to eat um, I'm mostly eating on my left side I try to um, eat or chew on my right but I feel like it I guess I think I've said it before it feels it's it feels hard to move food around in my mouth um, I still drink mostly with a straw so I've been practicing this is probably going to be too um trying to flare my nostrils i don't know if anything is actually happening when i look in the mirror it looks kind of like um something might be happening but um it could just be the other side pulling on it a little bit i've still been doing the uh, facial massages. I've been pressing on what are like called trigger points and I kind of hold hold that there for I don't know a minute or so. Um, if anything it kind of just feels like a or it reminds me of like if you have a knot on your back or shoulder and you're just kind of rubbing it out a little bit that's kind of what this I guess technique feels like noticed that it does feel a little bit better after I do that. The massage yesterday, as uh, she was doing it, I realized I, I have a trigger point, if you will, kind of up here, which um, kind of surprised me. And then there's this one, and then down in my chin, so. All right, I'm back. Uh, it's a follow-up to a video, or my video this afternoon. Something I did notice tonight, um, was very minor, minor moving kind of around my eyes. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because, um, I mean, obviously this side of my face is moving. So it's like, is this moving because this is pulling or, you know, what exactly is happening? So that's something I'll certainly keep an eye out on. No pun intended. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping though that what I'm seeing up here I'm, is actually movement and um, it's the start of um, healing and um, hopefully very soon I'll see, see more progress. So this is officially the end of week seven. Well, it's now the end of week eight and um, Saw a little bit more improvement this week than I did last week. Um, as I shared towards the end of my video last week, I have noticed some movement in my cheek. So, like if I smile, or he hears me trying to wink. I have been continuing to do the facial massages. I try to do them at least twice a day and I start with my forehead doing small circles. I, I try to start like right along the um, ridge of where my hair meets my forehead and then I'll typically go down um, to about the temple. I'll move over. I find that I have like the trigger points, if you will, right around my eyebrow. Then I'll go down around my cheek. I notice trigger points right around the nose here. Uh, also at like on my top lip and then my bottom sometimes along here. I did notice too, I have them um, just the, the back side 
of the right side of my uh, head, which I think is interesting. So I try to make sure I get the, the back side of my head too. Like I said, I try to do that about twice a day. Um, and usually at night I'll do it right before bed and I might even spend like 20 to 25 minutes doing that. It's also just kind of a nice way to, to relax before bed. Uh, I still can't blink my eye, so here's me trying to blink. I'd say the past couple days, um, probably the last week, my eye has been really dry, even though I've been putting drops in pretty pretty consistently. I don't feel like I've, I've changed the amount or the frequency that I put in. However, my eye will start to water a little bit. Uh, like last night I was playing with my daughter and I kind of bent down and I could just feel it drip. Last week when I was putting together my video I noticed that I had like rubbed my eye at one point and then after when I'd blink it was really crazy. My eye would kind of roll up um, and I asked my husband and I said have you noticed me doing this before and he said he has. Um, he didn't really tell me if he's noticed it like frequently, but he says he has noticed it. So it makes me wonder how often that's happening. Um, but it was a little distracting seeing that it kind of was. Um, it's been easier to eat. I, I try to chew on the right side and I feel like it's been okay. Um, maybe I have adapted enough that I can now drink out of um, cups and glasses that don't have a straw. Um, I feel like I have to be careful. I don't know if that's, like I said, me kind of adapting to the situation with my mouth not really being able to work completely, or if that's um, getting a little bit more tone around my lips. So wear the eye patch at night and then I put the, the gel in my eye. Um, here are some of my facial expressions. Here's me smiling, raising my eyebrows. Here's me trying to squint my eyes or close my eyes. Kind of crunching my nose, uh, showing my lower teeth. Uh, the movement in my cheek. I feel is a good sign um, and I'm hoping then that that starts to to migrate down my face so um, anyway like I said it's been the end of week eight I can kind of move my cheek and um, we'll just hope that that next week and the week after we'll be getting better I think I need to stay a little bit more positive like I said last week and this week um, we're, we're difficult. I was getting really frustrated and I think emotional that um, I'm not seeing more results at this point. But like I said, I, I need to stay patient and and be positive that, you know, things will, things will work themselves out and I'll go back to normal. So.